Remarks of the President upon swearing in Maxwell D. Taylor as Ambassador to Vietnam. From the Rose Garden of the White House, July 2nd, 1964. Ladies and gentlemen, General Taylor, Secretary Rusk. General Taylor, on behalf of all of your countrymen, I want to congratulate you and express a very deep gratitude for the example of unselfish uh, citizenship that you offer to the world today. On many occasions, in both war and peace, Maxwell Taylor has responded to his country's call without any thought of self. Today, uh, you undertake still another demanding task. There are no illusions about the difficulty of the challenge. There are likewise no illusions about the responsibility or the importance of this assignment. As you leave, Mr. Ambassador, the prayers and the hopes of all of the American people are with you. We are fortunate as a nation that in this post of the highest duty, one great American follows another great American. We are likewise fortunate to have in our military officers of the highest rank who respect with every fiber in their bodies the civilian tradition of our democratic society. And we're fortunate that they're willing to serve that tradition without any hesitation. Our first purpose, our constant purpose in everything we seek to do is honorable peace. We stand with those who stand in defense of their own freedom and independence. We work with those who work in support of peace for the world and progress under freedom for human mankind. I know that as our ambassador to Vietnam, uh, you will, Mr. Ambassador, communicate to the Vietnamese people and their leaders the resolve, the determination, and the continuing support of the American people. General Taylor, we wish you Godspeed on your journey and in your service. <laughs>